Getting new collectibles is fun, and sharing them with an audience is even more fun. Welcome to Mail Time, where I take six packages bundled into the same genre of collectible, for my personal collection or for my for sale trade box, and I share those pickups with you. These include football, basketball, hockey, baseball, wrestling, Formula One, non-sport related stuff, comics, movies, music, and video games. Let's see what we got this episode. What's up everybody, Frank AZ HP Collectibles, here with another football mail time. I've got six packages as usual and a dope background as usual. Let's go ahead and jump into the background and get started. Moving on up in the years, I cannot believe we are this far in. I'm at 1987. Got an original 1987 tops, Randall Cunningham rookie PSA 8. Then we have the U UK version, the American football, UK edition of John Elway, uh, graded in a PSA 7. Those are smaller cards, as you can see. And then in 2015, for the 60th anniversary, Topps did classic designs. Uh, one of them was Dion Sanders. They did in the 87 design. And this is the Target Red Border exclusive. Uh, red Border was uh, Target, blue was Walmart, and gold was in both, was, which and was numbered to 150. Uh, the red looks absolutely fantastic with the Dion Sanders red Falcons and the red helmet and all that good stuff. Um, let's go ahead and jump into these packages. Looks like I have another printing plate. I had two last mail time. And other than that, it's all graded. Uh, I, I'll save the printing plate for last, like I did last time. So starting out here. Graded, what do we have? 1992 Topps Emmett Smith Base, PSA 8. Um, you know, those of you familiar with the channel, no, I don't really care about number grade. I like the card and I like the slab. So Emmett Smith, PSA 8, 92 is one of the greatest designs ever. The stadium, the blurb, the stats, uh, the, the, the rough feel on the back, uh, semi gloss on the front um, not really that much gloss they didn't really start doing gloss till 94 um, but smoother on the top I should say but beautiful card happy to have good old Emmett Smith all right moving on another graded card single graded card in here all right we have hey that's wow I've been getting like a DeAndre Hopkins card in every mail time, like the last three episodes in a row. Here is a 1959 mini of D-Hop, rookie year from 2013 Chrome. Once again, not the greatest grade at PSA 8, but very, very cool, very happy to have. I got a D-Hop printing plate, second year card, last mail time, and the mail time before that, I got a D-Hop 1969 insert so now i have a d hop 1959 insert uh 59 mini so very very cool happy to have uh i've been picking up quite a few d hops that are reasonably priced he's a great receiver he has a chance at the hall why not all right moving on what do we have here <clears throat> hey jan stenerud i mentioned him on one of my last couple mail times uh, Jan Stenerud, 1972. Is this his rookie? I don't think it is. It could be, but I don't think it is. But Jan Stenerud, one of the two kickers in the Hall of Fame, full-time kickers in the Hall of Fame. So I'm not counting George Blonda and Paul Horning and guys that played multiple positions. Um, Jan Stenerud, Hall of Famer. Very cool, it's only a PSA 4. I don't really care when it's, when it's a card from the 50s, 60s, or 70s. I don't really care what number is on the grade, uh, what number is on the slab. <clears throat> I'm gonna get it anyway, as long as it's cheap. All right, moving on, football graded, more graded. Hey, that's cool, more Hall of Fame, guys that don't get love. No one cares about offense and defensive line and a bunch of defensive guys like, Joe Delamo, De, Delam, Delama Lord. I always, I always have a hard time saying his name. Delama Lord. Um, but uh, Delama Lord. This guy, <laughs> Lamour. I don't know. I'm not French. I'm gonna have to search on it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on um an AI or something, or I'll put an audio clip in. Delama Lord. But, uh, 
but very cool. I've got like four or five of this guy's cards now. Hall of Famer, uh, PSA 7 from 83. Very, very cool. It's not the greatest cut. It's kind of rough. As you can see, top is like 10, bottom is like 90. It's like 90, 10 or 80, 20. And then the left and the right is like a 40, 60. So it's pretty rough cut. Delamalure. Delamalure. I, I can't remember. All right, moving on. Football graded. Last graded card in this haul. Good old Harry Carson. Um, I don't think his, this is his rookie. I think his rookie is 79. I could be wrong. Uh, but 81 Harry Carson, PSA 7. Happy to add more. 1981 to the collection. I need to get a graded Montana at some point. I have one raw, it's in really bad shape, but I do need to get a Montana rookie graded at some point. But Harry Carson, very cool. Part of a absolute beast of a defensive machine over there in New York. With Lawrence Taylor and Pepper Johnson and Carl Banks. Um, all right, and then the plate. Boom, oh yes. It's kind of messed up on the sticker up here. Um, which happens a lot on uncirculated stuff, but this is 2007. Let's see if I'm right when I turn it over, because it's been a while. 2007 Marvin Harrison. 2007, yes. I, I always remember 2007 has the little four dots up here, four dots over here. Uh, Marvin Harrison, Hall of Famer, black printing plate. I've been picking up a lot of printing plates. Don't really like how that shakes around in there, but it's a printing plate. It's not like it's a card. It's gonna get, they're all damaged straight up out of the factory anyway, because they were used to print. So, you know, you can't really expect too much there. A um, little hologram on the bottom, as usual, for one-on-one -on -one stuff. Uh, very cool, happy to have a one-of-one -one Marvin Harrison. I, I love printing plates. Um, you know, I know a lot of people don't like them, even certain player collectors don't even go for the printing plates. I never understood that. I think the printing plates are really cool. I think they're undervalued and underappreciated. So whatever, it is what it is, but I will pick them up all day, especially when it's a Hall of Famer. Uh, but that is the haul. That, it's a kind of a short mail time. I've, I've been hitting a lot of those recently. Oh, oh my goodness. Next week's is huge. Next week's is big. It's like, it's like 40 graded cards. Um, so, so stick around for next week. Uh, if you want to see next week's as well as my other videos, hit the subscribe button and also like this video if you can. Uh, if you want to see more on my collection, check out the Instagram and the Twitter. And if you want to communicate with me and talk sports and sports cards with me and others and join a local uh, or a, and join a community of people who uh, like sports cards and non-sports cards, check out the hobby boards. Hobbyboards.com, thehobbyboards.com. Uh, I've been participating in forums there, message boards. That's what they are, PHPBB3. Go sign up, check it out, get active, talk to people. Forums are so much fun. Uh, so much better than social media where you're limited what you can reply and what you can post and how you can share and how you can communicate. It's so limited. Uh, forums are wide open, so it's awesome. Go check out thehobbyboards.com. Um, but that's it. Uh, as mentioned, give me a like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. I'll see you in the next vid. Have a great day. Peace.